In the heart of the Hudson Valley, nestled among rolling hills and dense forests, there existed a village with a name that would forever be synonymous with eerie tales and supernatural legends, Sleepy Hollow. This quaint settlement, shrouded in autumnal mist, was the birthplace of one of the most iconic figures in American folklore, the Headless Horseman. The origins of the Headless Horseman can be traced back to distant shores, across the Atlantic, to the ancient Celtic lands of Ireland. There, in the dim glow of centuries-old legends, the Dullahan, a malevolent spirit, roamed the night. The Dullahan was a headless horseman, bearing his severed head beneath his arm, and his spectral presence foretold death and misfortune. This eerie figure was known to utter the names of those doomed to meet their end, a grim omen that left no soul untouched. From these Irish whispers, the seeds of the Headless Horseman legend were sown. Yet, it was in the fertile soil of American imagination that this legend would fully blossom, thanks to the literary craftsmanship of Washington Irving. In 1820, Irving penned the legend of Sleepy Hollow, a story that would etch the Headless Horseman's name into the annals of history. In the tale, Irving wove a tapestry of European folklore, American history, and his own creative brilliance. He conjured the spectral rider as the vengeful ghost of a Hessian soldier, a soldier who had met a gruesome end during the American Revolutionary War. As the ink dried on the pages of the legend of Sleepy Hollow, the headless horseman galloped forth from the realm of fiction into the hearts and nightmares of readers. This iconic character became the symbol of Halloween, a holiday that itself had Celtic roots, marking the boundary between harvest and winter, between the living and the dead. The headless horseman, with his headless visage and spectral form, epitomized the eerie spirit of the season. With each passing year, the Headless Horseman's legend grew stronger, branching out into various forms of media, from literature to theater, and eventually, to the silver screen. Tim Burton's cinematic masterpiece Sleepy Hollow Breath new life into the tale, portraying the Headless Horseman as a vengeful spirit controlled by dark forces expanding upon his backstory and adding layers of complexity to the character. But the Headless Horseman was not confined to the pages of books and the frames of movies. Across the world, similar legends arose, each with their own twist on the spectral rider theme. In Scotland, the gone scene galloped through misty moors, while in Mexico, El Caballo's Sin Cabeza haunted the countryside. Even Japan had its own spectral being, the Nukekebi, whose detached head bore a curious resemblance to the headless motif. In the United States, regional variations of the legend sprouted like gnarled trees in a haunted forest. In New Jersey, the decapitated Hessian of Trenton was born from the crucible of history, tied to the American Revolutionary War much like Sleepy Hollow's own headless menace. As the decades rolled on, the headless horseman continued to evolve, adapting to the ever-changing landscape of popular culture. This timeless character appeared in parades and Halloween celebrations, donning various masks and costumes, yet always preserving that unmistakable air of foreboding. In the heart of Sleepy Hollow, a bronze statue of the Headless Horseman stands, a testament to the enduring power of folklore and storytelling. Tourists flock to this village, eager to walk in the footsteps of Ichabod Crane and bear witness to the eerie legend that still lingers in the crisp autumn air. But what of the origins of this legend? What catalysts brought forth the creation of the Headless Horseman? While we cannot pinpoint a singular historical event or individual responsible, we can trace the threads that wove the tapestry of its existence. The American Revolutionary War, 
a tumultuous chapter in the nation's history, provided fertile ground for the headless horseman's emergence. Hessian mercenaries, hired by the British, added an air of foreign mystique to the legend. These real soldiers, who fought on American soil, likely contributed to the creation of a vengeful Hessian specter. Local ghost stories whispered around the hearths of the Hudson Valley undoubtedly played their part. The fertile imaginations of the region's residents gave rise to tales of spectral riders and eerie apparitions. These stories, rooted in local folklore, became the building blocks for Irving's iconic narrative. The early 19th century, marked by cultural shifts and fears of the unknown, provided a backdrop for the Headless Horseman's creation. As America grappled with its identity and the encroachment of modernity, legends and folklore emerged as vehicles to express and confront societal anxieties. Washington Irving, a luminary of American literature, added his own brushstrokes to the canvas of the Headless Horseman legend. His storytelling prowess elevated the character to new heights, cementing its place in the pantheon of American folklore. As time marched forward, adaptations and reinterpretations breathed fresh life into the Headless Horseman. This spectral rider proved to be an enduring figure, a chameleon of the supernatural world, adapting to the needs and fears of each era. The Headless Horseman, in all its spectral glory, embodies a multitude of themes and symbolism. It beckons to the very core of our human experience, capturing the essence of our deepest fears and timeless questions. Death and the supernatural loom large in the character's shadow. The headless rider straddles the line between the living and the dead, a haunting reminder of our mortality and the mysteries of the afterlife. Death itself, the ultimate unknown, takes on a tangible form in the headless specter. Omen and fate are intertwined with the headless horseman's legend. Encounters with this spectral being are often seen as harbingers of doom, marking those who cross its path for a tragic destiny. It embodies the belief in premonitions, in the idea that some events are written in the stars or whispered by the spirits. The concept of unfinished business or vengeance also finds its place in the legend. The restless spirit of the headless horseman seeks something beyond the grave, a resolution or retribution that eludes it. It raises questions of justice and recompense, exploring the idea that unaddressed matters can linger in the world of the living. Yet, perhaps the most primal of fears is the fear of the unknown, and the darkness that conceals it. The rider's headless, shadowy form, concealed in the cloak of night, plays on our deepest anxieties about what lurks beyond our sight. It is the embodiment of the things that go bump in the night, the hidden terrors that haunt our imagination. In the case of Washington Irving's tale, the headless horseman assumes a role in cultural identity and conflict. It pits American settlers against foreign mercenaries, exploring the tensions and fears surrounding cultural clashes and the struggle for independence. It becomes a symbol of resistance, a guardian against intruders from distant lands. The Headless Horseman even connects to the changing of the seasons, specifically the transition from autumn to winter. As Halloween marks this shift, the legend embodies themes of the harvest's end, the arrival of colder days, and the mysteries of the season. It serves as a reminder that, as the leaves fall and the nights grow longer, the supernatural world draws near. As for local customs and traditions, the Headless Horseman has become an integral part of Halloween celebrations in regions where the legend holds sway. The quaint village of Sleepy Hollow and its surroundings come alive with haunted hayrides, reenactments of Irving's tale, and themed events. Local storytellers weave their narratives around the character, 
inviting residents and visitors to delve into the eerie history of the region. Haunted tours and attractions transport the curious to the heart of the legend, offering immersive experiences that draw them into the spectral world of the Headless Horseman. Visitors embark on journeys through the misty woods, traversing the very paths the character once roamed. Themed decorations and costumes pay homage to the Headless Horseman's eerie allure. Homes and businesses don spooky adornments, from pumpkin-headed scarecrows to ghostly apparitions. Costume parties and events invite revelers to embody the spectral rider, embracing the chill of the season. In some regions, educational programs explore the history and cultural significance of the Headless Horseman legend. Schools and historical societies offer lectures, workshops, and exhibits, shedding light on the folklore and literary heritage of the character. They connect the past to the present, bridging generations with the enduring story. The tourism industry in regions tied to the Headless Horseman legend has thrived, drawing visitors from far and wide. Sleepy Hollow, in particular, experiences an influx of tourists eager to immerse themselves in the legend's history. The local economy benefits from this surge in interest, as restaurants, shops, and accommodations cater to those seeking to explore the spooky heart of the village. Yet, within the world of folklore and legends, rational explanations cast their own eerie shadows. Optical illusions, pranks, hallucinations, and historical context offer alternative lenses through which to view the legend. Optical illusions, born from atmospheric conditions and lighting, can create the appearance of a headless figure in the misty night. Fog, mist, and rain distort reality, blurring the line between the tangible and the phantasmal. Pranksters and hoaxers have played their part in perpetuating the legend. Historical accounts may be colored by individuals seeking amusement or notoriety, using costumes and props to deceive the unsuspecting. Hallucinations and psychological factors have their role to play as well. The human mind, influenced by stress, fatigue, or altered states of consciousness, can conjure vivid experiences that blur the boundaries between reality and imagination. What one perceives as a supernatural encounter may be a product of their mental state. Cultural and historical context provide fertile ground for the legend's growth. The American Revolutionary War, local folklore, and societal anxieties all contributed to the Headless Horseman's emergence. These factors, while not explaining the supernatural, illuminate why such stories held sway over the collective imagination. As we navigate the murky waters of folklore and legends, we must remember that the Headless Horseman is a tapestry woven from history, culture, and imagination. It is a symbol that transcends time and borders, inviting us to explore the eerie, embrace the unknown, and venture into the realm of the supernatural. In the flickering candlelight of a sleepy hollow tavern, tales of the headless horsemen continue to be spun. Around campfires in the Scottish Highlands and over tequila shots in Mexican cantinas, the legend endures. In the midst of autumn's chill and the rustling leaves, the spectral rider gallops forth, haunting our dreams and captivating our souls.